Hello, everybody. Um, this is going to be your art e-learning assignment. Um, and you're going to draw a portrait. And a portrait is a picture of a person of somebody that you're thankful for. Now, this could be somebody in your family. This could be somebody at school. This could be uh, one of your friends. This could be anyone in your life that you are thankful for. Uh, the directions for this, you're going to use the picture below and you're going to draw somebody that you're thankful for. Be sure to think carefully about color, shapes, and if you need assistance, you can use an electronic device to scan the QR code below. The QR code will be right here. Uh, when you're finished, you can scan your work at home, give it to the person you drew, or bring it back to school and share it with me. Um, now, I just want everybody to know that this is not going to be a grade and you don't have to return it, but if you would like to bring it in and share it with me or your classmates, you are welcome to do so. Um, now, at any point in time during this video, if you get uh, behind or you need to stop, just feel free to go ahead and pause it. Um, now, I do want to share with everybody that the QR code that's right here will be to this video. So if you're watching this video, you don't need to scan it. Um, so here we go. Whenever you're drawing a portrait, the first thing you're gonna do, the first thing you're gonna need, always and forever, is a pencil and eraser. Now, to do this, okay, before you get started, you're gonna draw two lines. And these two lines are gonna divide your face in half. You will erase these lines when you're done. So you're gonna draw them very lightly. The first line, you're gonna divide your face in half going uh, vertical, which is up and down. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna connect my chin right here, okay? There should be a line right there for your chin. So this line divides your face in half vertically. The next line you're going to draw is going to divide your face in half horizontally, okay? Now, these lines help us. They tell us where things go, where eyes go, where noses go, noses, where your nose goes, where your mouth goes, okay? And it makes it easier because, you know, sometimes when we're starting off drawing out, drawing people, sometimes we draw the eyes a little high. Well, your eyes are actually right in line with your ears. Now, uh, before you begin your actual drawing, you need to think of the person you're going to draw. And if you need to, I mean, or if you have one, you can think of a, you can get a picture. Uh, if you don't have a picture, just draw from your imagination because that's what we artists do. And that's what I'm gonna do for you now. Uh, so the name of my person, I'm going to draw my best friend, and her name is Jess. So I'm going to write Jess right there because this is who I'm drawing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing her eyes. Now, to draw an eye, okay, the top part of the eye is going to be on the top of your line. The bottom part is going to be on the bottom, okay? So the top part, I'm going to start right here, and the top part, you frown like so, okay? And the bottom part, you smile. So if you can see right there, I have the top part frowning, bottom part smiling. Then you're gonna draw your next eye. And if you're like, man, do I draw it over here? Do I draw it over there? Where do I draw, Where do I draw it? Your eye, okay, you, you measure your eye, and the space between your eyes is approximately one eye wide. So if my eye is about, let's see, about a finger, right? About a finger wide, I put a finger there and I know my next eye is gonna start right here, okay? They're gonna be about equal distant from the line. So I'm gonna frown and I'm gonna smile. And remember, not all art is perfect. We're not taking a picture. Uh, if we take a photo, that's gonna be perfect but art is not a photo, right? Um, so the next thing what you're gonna do is inside your eyes, you're gonna draw a little corner line like this. And right here, this is the corner of your eye where it's kind of pink. 
and you're gonna curve to the right when you do that here. Then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna curve to the left like this. So this is the inner part of your eye, right? And then you're gonna draw a line and you're gonna start at the top and you go down and then you're gonna curving to the left here and you're gonna curve, I'm sorry, curving to the right here, curving to the left over here and then you're gonna do it again and then you're gonna add just a little black space there. Now, those look pretty wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some kind of eyelid right here at top, the top, so it's not so wide. So eyelid. Then I'm gonna add my eyebrow, which is just some lines going across. And remember, draw very lightly because when I go back through and I do my eyes, I'm gonna make them a little different so I can erase a little bit. Now, the next thing you're gonna do, okay, once you have your eyes, is you're going to draw a line that's halfway between your eye line and your chin. So I'm gonna go right here. Draw a line. And the bottom of this line right here, the bottom part is gonna be the nose. Now noses are pretty hard to draw, so I'm just gonna draw kind of a simple, simple nose. You don't have to draw all aspects of a nose. So right here on this line, okay, I'm gonna draw just kind of like a smile, okay? I got half the smile on one side, half the smile on the other. Then I'm gonna go to the left side and I'm gonna draw a curve line. And I'm gonna to go to the right side, and I'm gonna draw a curve line there. Now it's a pretty simple nose. If you want, you can always bring the bridge up, like so, and connect kind of to the eyebrows, where the eyebrows are, but you do not have to. Now, after you draw your nose, you're gonna draw another line that's halfway between your nose line and your chin like so. And, oop, that was a little crooked. That's fine because it uh, does not have to be perfect. Now, this line, okay, is gonna be where your lips are. So your top lip is on the top half of the line. And to draw a lip, I just go up, I go a little curve line, and I go down. And the bottom half, I just do a little curve line like that. Now I'm gonna leave these lines here for just a second and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the hair. Now this is a lot of head, but your bangs kind of start like right here. And my best friend's hair, her, kind, her hair kind of goes up a little bit right here. and her hairline goes down like this, right into your ear. So everybody's gonna have a hairline, like so. Now, if you have bangs, the bangs will go like this, right? And if you have long hair, it'll kinda come down like this, okay? Like so, and this is the top of your head, right? So you have your part, any bangs, and then if you have longer hair, it goes down behind your ears. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this, because she does not have that. And if you're drawing a boy, hmm, this eraser's not the best. Then you just kind of make this kind of a rough line rough line, like a zigzag line to show where the hair is, like so. Okay, almost done. I'm just adding a little bit of texture to the hair. And like I said, her hair kind of curves up into a neat little dew on the top. 
And then to do a shirt, you're just gonna add a curve line like this. And you can add a little line here and a little line there. Uh, now, when you're done drawing, you're gonna go ahead and take your eraser and you'll erase all of these lines that you drew to mark off where things go. Okay, now once you have that all erased, um, if you'd like to color, you can choose, you know, crayons, markers. Um, because this drawing's a little small, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the colored pencils. And I have my handheld uh, <laughs> sharpener right here, so I'm just gonna sharpen it a little bit because these eyes are pretty tiny. And I'm gonna get my eraser, kind of erase those lines a little bit. I'm actually gonna erase whew, my little inside line because I'm gonna do something a little different with that. Um, now, her eyes are like a blue-green. So I'm gonna take a better eraser. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead, and this is going to be your iris, the outside part. And the iris is the color part of your eye, right? So that medium circle in the middle of your eye is your iris. And then color pencils are pretty great because they allow you to kind of mix colors. So you can color one color on top of another. And then I'm gonna take the black. I'm gonna color the inside black. And then her hair is kind of like a dark brown. So I'm gonna go ahead. And usually your eyebrows are gonna be the same color as the hair. So I'm gonna take my dark brown. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna kind of color the eyebrows in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of very lightly just trace over my lines. And if you wanna make it look a little uh, three-dimensional, you can color lightly right next to the line here to add some shadow. And I'm gonna trace my nose, adding a little right there, shading a little right here. And then in the bottom part, right where the nostrils are, I'm gonna color a little dark. Sorry about that. Little dark. I'm gonna leave the lips alone right now. I'm just gonna add a little shadow over here for the ears. And then maybe a little shadow for the chin here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to find her kind of skin tone. I'm gonna sharpen this a little bit. And color that in. And it's always important when you're coloring with color pencils and really any other kind of coloring tool medium that you color using small, small, small strokes. And when you're done with one section, you just kind of lightly move over to the next. Go over here. Get in there. Make sure you get your ears. and neck. Now, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna do just a light pink for the mouth. And girl or boy, I mean, you can do light pink for, you know, either. Oh, and 
This part of the eye, I'm gonna do a little light pink right there too. Okay, so there's the face. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work on the hair. And I'm gonna take my brown again and I'm just gonna trace my hairline. and add kind of the direction of the hair a little bit. Like I said, it kind of goes up into this neat little do. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back through with a light brown. And she does have kind of like a purple to it. I think I might add a little purple right now. I want to go violet, violet. Mm. It's one of the tricky things about color pencils is that the violet looks a lot like purple until you read it. There we go. I'm just going to add a little bit, not a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over with my light brown. I'm one of the, like I said, you know, one of the great things about color pencils is you can really layer your color and mix them together. Okay. Now, there is her hair. And my next step, I'm gonna give her a little more hair over here just to make it um, even because I do plan on giving this to her. Okay, perfect. Um, now, to do her shirt, you know, really think about some of the characteristics about that person. For example, my best friend Jess really loves Harry Potter. And while I don't necessarily know what Harry Potter looks like, I do kind of know a little bit about his face. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw very lightly um, a circle and that'll be his face and then I'll draw his glasses are pretty iconic Oop. oh I might draw his glasses down here and this is just gonna be a oh, lightning bolt and then he has bangs like this. And I'm just gonna keep it like that. So I'm gonna take my black colored pencil, I'm gonna trace it. And this is just my little cartoon Harry Potter. So I'm not really gonna color too much. There we go, that's fine. And then I think she really likes purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color the rest of her shirt in purple. And I'll just leave my little Harry Potter cartoon person. Uh, there we go, go overline that a little bit. And, you know, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you'd like to return, bring in your picture to show the class, to show me, maybe you drew your teacher or give it to that person. You are always welcome to do that. You can keep it home. It's 100% up to you. All right. Thank you all very much and enjoy the rest of your day.